Welcome to Chat Pion. We have just updated the Messenger Bot Enhancer, a Chat Pion add on. Now we can create the Messenger engagement by using the Visual Flow Builder. Today, in this video, we will see how to create the Messenger engagement by using the Visual Flow Builder. First, we will create a Messenger engagement. Let's go to the Visual Flow Builder from the dashboard of Chat Pion. Then, click on the Create New Flow. Select the Facebook page for which we will create the engagement. Give a name for the bot flow. Take an action button from the dock menu and connect it to the bot flow. Double click on the action button. Select the Messenger Engagement plugin from the drop down list. Then select the Messenger Engagement plugin type. We have four types of engagement plugins. Let's select the m.me link. Here, we have the button text. We can change the button color and text color if we want. Also, we have options for button size. Then, give a reference. Finally, click on the OK button. Now, let's add replies to this engagement bot. We can use any type of reply, for instance, we are just using a text reply. Connect the text reply with the bot flow. And then, put the text for the reply. Let's save the bot. Now, we will use this m.me plugin button on our website. Let's go back to the dashboard. Go to Messenger Bot. Click on Actions under the Messenger Engagement and select the m.me link. Click on the JavaScript embed code and then copy the code. Now, we will add this code to our website's homepage and save it. Let's go to the website and check it. If we click on this button, it will redirect us to the messenger and the bot will send a message. Yes, the bot has sent the message. Now, let's create another type of messenger engagement plugin. This time we will create a customer chat plugin. Give a name for the bot. This time select the customer chat plugin. Here we need to put the URL of the site, where we will use this chat plugin. We can put a loading delay time here. We have to put text for logged in and not logged in users. Put a reference and then click the OK button. In the same way, we will add the JavaScript embed code on a website. Yes, this is also working just perfectly. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.